Hi friend, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you a compact but powerful power amplifier circuit, using 4 transistors 2SC5200 and 2SA1943. The circuit is used to replace portable speakers or for home use, with a warm and sweet bass sound. I believe you will like it the first time. This is the 300 watt power supply that I shared with you in previous videos. The circuit has a soft start function, which automatically rotates the cooling fan when the temperature rises. The voltage supplied to the circuit is about 35 volts to 55 volts. The power of the circuit reaches 250 watts. This is JLCPCB assembly technology. With the most modern machinery and technology. They bring quality and cheap PCB. With a large warehouse of electronics components. JLCPCBs ready to fully serve all component for the needs of user. JLCPCB has the technology of soldering and assembling components to printed circuit boards. They have reduced my soldering time up to 10 times. After receiving PCB, I just need to connect the wires and the circuit is ready to work. Here is the schematic diagram of the circuit. A current source will be output by three transistors A1015. The input signal is processed and amplified then sent to the TIP41 and TIP42 transistors. The four transistors 2SC5200 and 2SA1943 will amplify the signal and output to the speaker. Inductors, resistors, and capacitors are Zobel filter circuits, preventing self-activation and causing damage to the circuit. This is the printed circuit part of the audio amplifier. It has added copper circuit on the top side to increase the conductivity. You can download it in the description. This is the result after one week, printed circuit from JLCPCB. The underside of the printed circuit is tin coated to increase electrical conductivity. The circuit uses some common components, you can buy it at your local store. Some main components such as, transistor 2SC5200, 2SA1943, diode 4007, TIP41, TIP42, resistor 0.22 ohm 5 watt, and some other components. Now I will assemble the components into the circuit board. Pay attention, install the correct type and number of each component. I 
I will add a layer of thermal paste on the transistor so that it conducts heat better. Don't forget to add a piece of insulation between the transistor and the heatsink. Thank you for watch my video, don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel. I'll see you in the next time.